Have you guys ever taken a spark plug out of your small engine and it's really hard to get out? You get it all the way to the end and then you look down in that spark plug hole and you realize some of those threads in there are damaged. Maybe you actually put a spark plug in it, accidentally got it cross-threaded in there and damaged some of those threads in there also. Oh, you take that to a small engine shop and get them to repair this? Oh, take your wallet. It's going to cost you big time. This is how I do it, a little trick that I've learned, and I hope I'm going to save you some money right now, guys. Welcome back to Steve's Small Engine Saloon, guys and girls. Thanks for coming back. Hey, you want to see my website? SteveSmallEngineSaloon.com right here. I got a link up here in the information button for you, too. So this is a little hack that a mechanic buddy of mine showed me not that long ago. I said, dude, that's going to make a great video. Uh, do you mind? And he said, no, that's fine, but just uh, don't use my name in the video. And I said, absolutely, no way I'm going to do that. So thank you very much, Scott, for showing me this little hack right now. I'm gonna, he shared that with me, and now I'm going to share this with you guys. Tools that you're going to need to do this is a hacksaw blade, uh, needle nose pliers, tissue, and spark plug wrench, obviously, for getting that out of there, and some grease. That's very important, some grease. Oh, yeah, you also need a beer. I just got some Heineken left over, so that's what I'm using. You guys can actually use any kind of beer for this job it's going to take you about approximately maybe two beers to do this job this right here is a proper tool it's called a tap this is for cutting threads in a hole or cleaning up threads in a hole what we want to do is mimic what this tap looks like onto a spark plug you can see how this tap has four slots cut out of the side of those threads like that it makes the edges of the, of the threads sharp like that. Easy way that we do this is with a hacksaw blade. Everybody's got a hacksaw blade out there, so I'm using that as a demonstration on this one. Um, a little Dremel, if you've got a Dremel tool with one of those little cutoff discs in there, that works absolutely fantastic too, but I know that a lot more of you guys have a hacksaw blade to do this so that's what I'm going to show you I'm going to demonstrate this to you on an old uh, Honda uh, block that I have here that's already destroyed it doesn't need to be that you can do this on a on a chainsaw you can do it on a weed eater a blower whatever you want it's the same concept what you want to do now is put that spark plug in a vise in a bench vise and cut four slots in it just like this Grab that hot hacksaw blade when it's in your vise like that and start cutting a slot like that. Keep going until there's no threads at the bottom of that slot, down deep enough like that. Do that four times on all four sides of that spark plug. That is pretty much copying what that tap looks like. Four slots on the side of that. Now when we actually start screwing that spark plug back in the hole to cut those threads out and clean those up, it's going to create a lot of uh, metal filings and whatnot that we don't want to get down into that engine. So there's a couple ways that you can uh, do this. Obviously you can take it apart and do that and that's what a small engine shop's going to do. We don't want to do that because I don't think it's necessary. Two different ways that we can uh, keep those filings out of the engine. First thing that I do is I take needle nose pliers and uh, a little bit of tissue, a paper towel, something like that. Take your needle nose pliers and that tissue paper and then move your piston all the way up. Turn your engine over so the piston is all the way to the top, top dead center. So we do that. Then take your needle nose pliers and take that tissue paper or whatever you use in there and stuff it down the hole just down far enough to the bottom of that threads right there. Now what we want to do is take some grease. This is really important. This works really well. Take some grease. Doesn't matter what kind of grease. 
take that spark plug that you got the four slots stuffed out of and cover that thing. Cover it with grease as good as you can. Gob it up real good. What that's going to do is it's going to catch any metal filings that are created when you're, uh, when you're cutting those threads down there. Also, I have to add this too. If you take your spark plug out and the threads on the actual spark plug itself look damaged to you, don't use that spark plug. Get a good spark plug, a new spark plug, or one that's in really good shape. Take the other one, throw it in the garbage. Use one with good threads on it to begin with. You have nothing to lose by trying this hack. If this hack doesn't work for you, say the, the threads are so badly damaged in your engine that this hack doesn't even work for you guys, I got a link on my description. Go back to the description of this video and check out the tool that I have there. It's a proper tool for actually redoing the threads in your small engine. And uh, if this hack didn't work for you guys, that definitely will. Go back and check that out. You got those threads coated up real good. Now, spark plug wrench. Get it in there as good as you can, like this, until, it, until you know it's going in straight and you got a couple of threads cut there. Go as far as you can. Spark plug wrench. Get in there and start twisting. And it's going to start going in fairly easy. And, it, and you're gonna feel those threads cutting off. Put it in all the way as far as it goes. You don't need to necessarily tighten it up that much. And then when you're done with that, pull it all the way back out again. And when you pull that spark plug out, you're gonna see in that grease, all kinds of metal filings in there. That grease caught a lot of those metal filings. The filings that it didn't catch, that tissue should have caught some of those or most of those. Now grab, just take your needle nose pliers again and grab that uh, tissue and pull that back out again. Now once you did that, you should have caught almost all those metal filings in there. There should be, it, it should actually be quite clean in there. If you do have an air compressor with a little air nozzle on that, Feel free to just put it in there, wear some eye protection or something, or put a rag over it when you do that and blow that out. Get every bit of filing out there. Anything you can do to keep that those metal filings out of your engine is gonna be helpful. Now clean all of that grease and, and filings off of that spark plug with a rag or, or spray it with some carburetor cleaner. Clean it really good, blow it off with your air compressor if you still have that little air nozzle done. And even though you uh, have cut slots in there in the threads you should still be able to use that spark plug if it's a good spark plug as long as that compression ring isn't damaged right there screw that back in and you're going to find that it screws right back in by hand now and its threads are cleaned up and it's going to screw right back in there tighten it up with your spark plug wrench bob's your uncle fred's your aunt this video right here is a perfect example of why I love the fact that I've worked with so many different mechanics in my life. Uh, like this one right here, that mechanic showed me how to do that. I didn't know how to do that. That was a great tip and trick from him. And then I share a great tip and trick, trick with him. And we're all sharing, we're all learning something and the whole point of the Steve Small Landy Saloon is so that I can take all that information and also share it with you guys. So why not share this with your friends too? Let's keep sharing. My mom always told me share. Now that is a great hack, a great tip, great trick. Thanks again, Scott, for sharing that with me so I can share it with everybody else. He said he learned that in the marine industry. This is awesome. Uh, I hope that I saved you guys some money, obviously. Uh, share this with your friends. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you already have and put some comments down. Come on guys, that's cool. Give us that thumbs up button right there. Hit that like button and uh, next video is coming up uh, real shortly. Steve out.